media news, the state of Arkansas is suing TikTok, its parent company ByteDance and Meta, claiming the platforms are harmful to users' mental health and, to, and a threat to privacy. Arkansas says the companies have violated the state's Deceptive Trade Practices Act. In the suit, Arkansas says some of the features on Meta, such as the like button and photo tagging, are, quote, addictive and intended to manipulate users' brains. The lawsuit also accuses TikTok of misleading users by identifying its app as suitable for teens on app stores. So we want to bring in our nine news legal expert, Whitney Trailer, to kind of break this down. I mean, it seems like the U.S., now the state of Arkansas, going through extremes to like kick this app out of the country. But can you sue them? Like, is that even legal? Well, that's a great question. And we're going to find out when, as this case moves forward. And this actually isn't the first state to sue social media. And we know we just had the Supreme Court, which heard the case dealing with uh, Google and YouTube and whether their algorithms, whether they could be liable for uh, providing this content. And so the issue is going to be a number of things. There's going to be a question of standing. Does the state have the right? Are they the harmed party? No. Number one. Number two is is actually proving this because what they're saying is that they knew through their algorithms that uh, using the use of a like button would trigger the release of dopamine and the kids were getting triggered and so they're going to have to prove that it was this particular social media that caused these mental health issues and that's there's just too many inferences to make there so I think there's going to be a number of issues. So we've traveled this road before in yeah. our country from everything from when rock and roll was considered the devil's music right. to when television was considered something and both of them with with things like that when you're talking about triggering people's reactions whether addictively yes. or not and now this and if 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 TikTok is addictive then most social media probably and even the phone itself might be considered addictive. That's exactly right. And, and trying to prove that, that's really the issue. So at what point did it become addictive? What actual app? When did you start having these mental health issues? Can you attribute? And that's the issue. Every case has two elements to it. There's liability and damages. So the first issue is, did you do something wrong? The data is showing that social media is having a negative impact on young people, particularly young girls. Can you identify these particular companies? That's gonna be the real challenge. And then the second issue was, did your liability, whatever you did wrong, was it the proximate cause? Was it the reason for these damages? And trying to prove somebody's mental health, that's... W would intent matter, tough. these algorithms? Do they create intent and does that change the view as opposed to it's not just happening, yep. it's, you're doing it on purpose? That's the argument that the states are making, saying, hey, this is under the deceptive trade practice and you're not actually telling us the truth. And they're saying, one, that you are disclosing our information to uh, China. You are allowing young people to see sexual content and other things. They're not keeping the security measures. And then thirdly is that, yeah, they are, um, they know their algorithms are working. And that was the same issue with the YouTube situation when it uh, suggest videos. So when it was suggesting these ISIS recruiting videos, do they now become producers of content? And so here, if the algorithms, if they know what's going to trigger the kids and they know what's going to get them, um, get them the likes, get them on there, and which is creating these mental health issues, then that's going to be the issue. Then they may be liable under the deceptive trade practice and where they could get hit with like $10,000 per per action, so it could be highly expensive. Yeah. And in this Arkansas lawsuit, I mean, they're breaking it down to the very simple level of like the like button. I, Matt, what is what is the world without the like button in, in 2023? <laughs> exactly. I mean, that sounds trite, but but seriously. So what happens next? Well, there's going to be a number of, of lawsuits. The DOJ is investigating because of antitrust. Uh, there's a couple other states suing. I think every attorney general in the country is looking at this issue almost like op opioid and what have you. So, I mean, there's no question that social media is having having these sort of impacts on, on folks and it has this addictive aspect. But the other side of it is we are in this free market capitalism and they're the best at what they do, aren't like isn't this what they're supposed to do, get people there and drive them to to their platform. So it's it is a fine line and, and how uh, Congress deals with it is gonna be uh, lots of many years. Cigarettes, soft drinks, all these things that have addictive pieces right. of the puzzle were all considered. We'll have to we'll have to examine this as it goes because this is a flying subject right now. Yes, There's plenty sure. going on right now. Yeah. Whitney, it's always good to see you. Sure. Thanks for your help good today. To see you.